This is the club of the future, the flying club, where ordinary people will go for a spot of flying, just as they go to the tennis club for a game or two nowadays. And just as you have to wait your turn to get on the tennis court, you'll wait till the next plane's free. But you won't mind waiting in such pleasant surroundings as this. You'll fly your own plane if you want to. There'll be special courses for learner flyers, no more difficult than the present day courses for motor car drivers. In fact, they'll be simpler and a good deal safer because your early lessons will be in a nice comfortable indoor gadget called a link trainer, which never leaves the ground. Through the headphones, you'll receive instruction while you're learning to juggle with the controls. This device, called a crab, traces on a map the exact course taken by the learner. Instructions are given through a microphone connected to the earphones worn by the pupil. The firm running this scheme, Airwork Limited, founders of Heston Airport, were operating flying schools and clubs long before the war. During the war, they ran three large training schools and trained 25,000 pilots for the RAF. Now he's learned to keep a straight course in the link trainer, he can go on to some actual flying in the rail thing. First, in an aeroplane with dual controls, with the instructor in front to correct any false moves. And later comes the future pilot's greatest moment, his first solo flight. A few last words of advice, in case he's forgotten anything, and soon he'll find himself in sole control. seems to have learned his lessons pretty well. He'll make a good pilot. But there are still other things to learn. A bumpy landing like this is not at all the thing, so up he goes to try again. Yes, with the training devices evolved in the war, the civilian pilots got a great future. 